Well bowled out. Dragged it on leg stump. But Gibbs has gone. It's a loose stroke. And Dylan has struck early for the West Indies. That's just what they wanted. Oh, excellent delivery by Dylan in the right area. Gibbs looking for that extravagant drive. Playing outside the line and uh, that nipping back through the bat and pad gate. And Dylan, there you are, that fist showing that he's done it. Churchill Gibbs gone for eight and the first wicket's down for the South Africans. 13 for one. Pack. Pulled in, swinging right across the line. So Dylan gets his revenge. Disappointment on South African faces. We have two overs remaining in this match. They have 19 to get them for both South, South Africa. They've lost Mark Fulcher. Well, well, well. Another twist in this match. Second match of the ICC Champions Trophy. He's gone for 23. Nice little strike rate. 220 for six. In the air. Fielder under it. And kicks it. Not many fielders, not many cricketers would have wanted to have been under that one. It was easy. Well, easy in other circumstances, but perhaps not here. And Chandapur, cool as a cucumber, holds in the catch. Seven down as Pollock goes, but that blow by six off the first ball of the over. Who knows what that'll do? Here it is. What's that about fat lady singing? Good catch, under pressure, and the shadows are coming across the ground of the stands. Pollock, quick fire, 10, 234%. Per second. Now move a little bit in the air and disturb the castle. In the air, a catch for someone there, takes it. Lara's got it, clues the goals. One ball remains. Nicky Boye. Will come into the strike. One ball remains in this absolutely fascinating match. South Africa need two runs off it to tie the game. They need three to win. Well, just looking at that replay, Tony Kozia, good catch from Chanapal, but he was concerned about the height. Was it a no ball? Strike rate pretty impressive. They've 85. He goes for 23. It's 236 for eight.